guys, I'm now my third bike for the day. <laughs> I've got something in my eye already, good lord! Are you kidding me? Ah, so, uh, this is the Triumph Daytona 675. It's very, very nice. It's got a quick shifter, which is pretty awesome. Although I have no idea how to use it properly, so I probably won't use it that often, and I'll forget. <laughs> I am just going to forget. It's there. The dash is really weird, it's like inverse colours. It's a black dash with freaking white readers on it, it's really interesting. bit of a punch to it though this it's quite cool British bike British awesome bike actually this is really really nice three two although this one it seems to have like a bit of a strange sort of almost whining noise to it although it's really maneuverable it's heavier than the jigsaw I keep forgetting about the quick shifter. <laughs> Change the six. That's so weird. No clutch. Clutchless shifting. That's just odd. That really is odd. It's got an arrow exhaust on it, I believe. It's very nice. Although the throttle is a little bit more stiff, so every time I go over a bump. Um, if my hand moves like that, there we go. You guys can probably hear it through the engine. If I go over a bump and uh, where I'm not used to the the throttle, it um, it sort of jerks a little bit. The jigsaw I found, I didn't have that. I went over just as many bumpy things on that. This is kind of what the R6 was like. This is sort of in the middle of the. Um, this is this bike's more like the CBR, actually. Some lovely crosswinds at the moment. So we're up on Ports Downhill. And behind me I've got Aaron with Callum. Or has he got David? No, Callum I think is on Thomas bike. Yeah he is. Aaron with David. Ellie's on my bike. And uh, Thornboy with Callum behind. Yeah, I wonder how this one sounds at 14,000 revs. <laughs> smooth to ride again it's really really it's, it's kind of nice it's just that the accelerator is a little bit more jerky again halfway between the R6 the R6 I found was literally just all the time you know jerker 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 la jerker 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 god this is really weird I can't get used to the uh, the inverse colors on the dash it's really strange oh it's Oh, apparently, two o'clock. I doubt it. This is a very nice calm ride. Sun visor down. If I can reach it, there we go. <laughs> so what I'm hoping is going to happen is we're going to get to the roundabout. We're going to turn left, and there's not going to be anyone going down that hill, which would be awesome. Well, I haven't said that to overtake them, but you know, I want to give it the beans a bit and get up to 60 miles an hour. The, uh, you know, the purpose for which this bike was designed. You know what I'm saying? Hoping like hell that my microphone hasn't fallen out of the bottom of my helmet, because if it has, all you're going to get is wind noise. And that's going to suck, so you know, it's not ideal. It is quite windy today. Should be alright. <laughs> Look at that view. I know, right? Portsmouth. Blech better things to look at. There's a nice pylon over there. Lovely pylon. There's another one up there, look. Oh, it funny enough, it goes down to that other one. Ooh, who'd have thunk it? Pylons connected to pylons. What kind of world do we live in now? What 
that big white sign with the black stripe in the middle mean? What does it mean? Or is it a black sign with two white semicircles on the other side? I don't know. By the way. National Limit Road's always fun. This thing can do that, shall we? Oh, that's a bit jerky, a bit bumpy. <laughs> so, this is the Triumph Daytona 675 that I'm test running at the moment. Unfortunately, my Sony Action Cam has run out of battery, obviously, because that's my luck. Um, so yeah, it's freaking awesome. And this lot giving me jip for nothing. Can't take them anywhere. It's also very windy, so I'm being very easy. What is happening? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, so... Uh, vlogging is hard when people are trying to distract you. Strange. <laughs> very strange indeed. So yeah. Enjoyed the footage of the Daytona, but unfortunately the camera ran out, so um, there it is. That's the beast. And that's the last bike I'm test riding for today, so guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll um, see you in the next one. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video, guys. Really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe for more frequently regular content. By doing this, you'll also be supporting my channel, and please click the links on screen now to check out and subscribe to my other channels. Thanks a lot.